the alcohol as you know hydration means addition of the water dehydration means removal of the water the name itself indicates here removal of the water molecule takes place removal of water molecule takes place this process is dehydration then particularly we are talking about the dehydration of the alcohols it means from the alcohol we are eliminating water so alcohols concentrated acids like h2so4 or h3po4 or some catalyst like zncl2 or aluminum okay. so here the removal of the water molecule from the compound is nothing but dehydration the removal of the water from the alcohol what it forms the removal of the water from the alcohol it will going to give us alkene as a product and the dehydration means acids like concentrated h2so4 or h3po4 or catalyst like zinc chloride or else alumina clear so this is the how exactly it happens see here alcohol means oh will be there just i will show you generally so this is the alcohol which undergoes a dehydration process in presence of any acid like concentrated you can take concentrated h2so4 which can able to give us h plus yes or no and it is heated so what happens this water molecule is eliminated this water molecule is eliminated see double bond see so that there is a formation of the alkene takes place there is a formation of the alkene along with the release of the water along with the release of the water molecule so this is how the dehydration process occurs in case of the alcohols so whenever alcohols are treated with concentrated sulfuric acid so what happens there is a formation of the alkene with the release of the water and the water is eliminated or it is Uh, from the alcohol that is a dehydration what we call as it is called as a dehydration then i will tell you as we know that in case of alcohol there are three types of the alcohol primary secondary tertiary alcohols are there so the reactivity of dehydration for alcohol it means whether the dehydration is possible in case of primary alcohol more or in case of secondary it is more or in case of tertiary it is more depends upon what actually in which case whether the tertiary alcohol will dehydrate fast or secondary dehydrate fast or primary dehydrate fast that i will going to explain you now uh, let us take primary alcohol here we are taking first CH3 CH2OH that only i have written this is like this only ethanol CH3 CH2OH okay so this only i have written in this format just to look this is the CH3 CH2OH because i want to show you how exactly the water goes eliminated from this molecule okay it is treated with concentrated H two S O four, so it is treated with the concentrated H two S O four. So what happens? There is a formation of the alkene. There is a formation of the alkene with the release of the water. There is a formation of the as just now we said, alkene is going to be formed. 
warmer along with the release of the uh, what we can say water and here the temperature is 443 kelvin we are maintaining the temperature of 443 kelvin and see here we need here 100 percent concentrated h2so4 and it is a primary alcohol so whenever primary alcohol is treated with 100 percent concentrated h2so4 by maintaining the temperature of 443 kelvin we are going to get the alkene as a product we are going to get alkene as a product Suppose, if I am using instead of primary alcohol, if I am using secondary alcohol, what happens during that time that we will see here. So, I want to uh, write the secondary alcohol. Secondary alcohol means the carbon for which OH is attached. That carbon must be attached to the further two carbons. Suppose this is attached to the OH group and this must be attached to the further two carbons. I will write like this. Sir, no, just to process the valences of all carbon must be satisfied with the uh, what we can say four valency and it is treated with here the conditions will be different if because it is a secondary alcohol it is a secondary alcohol as it is a secondary alcohol here we are using 85 percentage of H3PO4 and then here the temperature is at around 440 Kelvin. Here the temperature is at around 440 Kelvin. So what happens? CH3, CH double bond, CH2. Okay. With the elimination of the water. So see here the temperature is reducing. And then the percentage. Here 100% of the concentrated H2SO4 is used. Here 85% of the H3PO4 is used. As I said you, you can use the H3PO4 also you can use the concentrated sulfuric acid. So here they have used the H3PO4 which is 85% concentrated. And third one, suppose I am using tertiary alcohol. Suppose I am using the tertiary alcohol. So tertiary alcohol means that must be attached to the further four carbons like this I will write <coughs> okay for the carbon where OH is attached that carbon this must be attached to the further different three carbons so it is a tertiary alcohol so for the tertiary alcohol it must be treated with 20% of TH3PO4 20% concentration of TH3PO4 and here the temperature is maintained at around the 358 Kelvin. So there is a formation of the again CH3. so that it can eliminate the water from it and then as compared with secondary alcohol as compared with primary alcohol as compared with the primary 
alcohol. So this is the order of the dehydration rate or dehydration in which alcohol it is faster, tertiary is faster as compared with secondary as compared with the primary because the tertiary carbocation is more stable so it can easily undergo the dehydration process. Clear? So once again I will tell you we are discussing about the dehydration of alcohol. We are discussing about the dehydration of alcohol. Dehydration is nothing but removal of the water molecule. Dehydration is removal of the water molecule. So, alcohols after dehydration, after dehydration what they are going to form? Alkene they are going to form. As we are telling dehydration means water must be there and water is there. Okay. In order to make the dehydration process we need certain reagents like uh, some concentrated acids like H2 4 or H3 PO4 or sometimes even you can use catalyst like zinc chloride and alumina. Okay. So this is the general format how the alcohols are dehydrated in order to get the alkane. So alcohol is that when it is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid it is heated with concentrated H2 so forth. There is a formation of the alkane with the release of the water. And then there are uh, alcohols, three types of the alcohol, primary, secondary, tertiary. Which alcohol undergoes dehydration faster? Obviously, tertiary alcohol undergoes dehydration faster as compared with secondary as compared with the primary. But see here, the conditions, just to look at the conditions, here we are taking the primary alcohol. The primary alcohol quite difficult to undergo dehydration. We need 100 percent of the H2SO4 we need 443 Kelvin temperature but in case of secondary it is reduced only 85 percent of the H3PO4 is needed and 440 Kelvin temperature is also needed. It means reduced as compared with this one it is reduced and in case of tertiary alcohol what happens 358 Kelvin is needed that is the temperature and 20 percent of the H3PO4 is needed. That is why the tertiary alcohol is uh, undergoes dehydration faster as compared with secondary as compared with primary. Even we can say that tertiary carbocation is more stable readily undergoes a dehydration process. So this is how we can explain which type of the alcohol undergoes a dehydration faster and what exactly the meaning of dehydration in case of alcohol. Now we will discuss about the mechanism of the dehydration process. Simply we are telling just you look at this reaction what is that? H2OH is there, OH is there, H2O is eliminated and double bond is introduced. But when we go through the mechanism we come across a certain steps, we come across certain steps those are very uh, useful or very important process so that is the mechanism of the dehydration that I will explain you. I hope so it is clear for you. So I will rub this part. mechanism of dehydration of alcohol. So it is one of the important question as like acid catalyzed hydration of the alcohol that is the question. Similarly this the dehydration al dehydration of alcohol this is also the question many times they have asked you for 3 marks. So let me explain you how exactly the mechanism occurs. So let us start with it. So first I am taking ethanol okay whenever ethanol is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid it which gives us H plus. So there is a formation of the ethene. This is ethanol. Okay, simple. H2 is eliminated and double bond is introduced. So there is a formation of the alkene. There is a formation of the alkene. But just you look at as we are discussing about the cleavage of the CO bond. Cleavage of the CO bond 
OH group is not a good living group. I said you before only uh, how the cleavage of the OH as well as CO bond takes place. So the OH is not a good living group. So in order to make it good living group, we must and should do the protonation. Protonation must be needed here. So the step one, this mechanism occurs through three different steps in that we are discussing about step 1. So, in case of step 1, the protonation of the alcohol is takes place, protonation of alcohol. Step 1 is step 1 is nothing but protonation of the alcohol. See here. First, this is nothing but ethanol, CH3, I have written in the expanded form, CH3 and then here it is a CH2 and here OH, okay. Protonation means addition of the proton, from where this proton is came from the concentrated H2SO4, okay. And this step is fast and it is a reversible step. So what happens, this H will be abstracted by the oxygen. So, these two, these two will going to be get attached so that the protonation of the alcohol, protonation, it is a alcohol, we are adding the proton. So, protonation of the alcohol is the first step. So, H will going to attach with the oxygen. So, what happens protonated here one H is there, one H is there and this H also gets attached here. So, the protonated alcohol is formed, this is the protonated alcohol and it is also called ion ethyl oxonium ion ethyl oxonium ion in the first step protonated alcohol is formed okay step 2 here from the protonated alcohol, this is the protonated alcohol, there is a carbocation will going to be formed, formation of carbocation, formation of the carbocation will going to be takes place. How it will takes place? See here, there is a protonated alcohol is there like this. Okay. So, this water molecule gets eliminated. So, what happens here? The water molecules get eliminated by taking this lone pair of the electron towards itself. So, what happens here? It is also a reversible step and which is the slowest step which is also called as the slowest step is nothing but rate determining step that is RDS is nothing but rate determining step. So, what happens here like this CH3, CH, CH plus what else eliminated here H2O is eliminated. So, that there is a formation of the carbocation. So, H2O itself gets eliminated by taking this lone pair, this electrons which are involved in this bond. So, it will be eliminated while there is a formation of the carbocation. There is a formation of the carbocation. Okay. So, now the last step is that step 3. What is the step 3? Elimination of the proton to give us alkane. Elimination of proton
elimination of proton to give a product alkene. What is our product alkene only? So, take the carbocation like this, it is there. C H here it is a plus, here it is a H. This proton is eliminated as H plus by donating its lone pair, its electron towards this bond. Here it will going to donate like this, another color I will use. Okay. Here like this it will give and H plus is separated. So, there is a formation of the CH2. double bond plus H plus. We want to prepare alkene that is ethene is prepared. Okay. So, the dehydration mechanism involves the three steps. Dehydration mechanism involves the three steps. Once again I will explain you clearly just observe. Alcohol is there we are using any acid to treat with the alcohol in order to make it dehydrated. It means water elimination must be there. So, particularly we are taking ethanol as an example. Ethanol after dehydration convert into ethene. So, it is the ethanol CH3 CH2OH is treated with the concentrated sulfuric acid or it is heated so that it will going to give us proton and there is a formation of the ethene along with the elimination of the water. Clear? So, it seems very easy, but invo it involves the three steps and those three steps are very easy also. And first step one is protonation of alcohol. Why the protonation of the alcohol takes place? See here, OH is not a good leaving group. It easily does not uh, leave. Okay. So, in order to make the OH group eliminated, you must and should do the protonation. So, the protonation is carried out with the help of the acid which we are using like concentrated sulfuric acid. Okay. So, this ethanol that only I have written in like this CH3, CH2, OH is treated with the acid and this step is faster. So, H plus easily connect with this oxygen. So, there is a protonation of the alcohol is takes place. The addition of the proton is nothing but protonation. And this is also called as ethyl oxonium ion. Ethyl oxonium ion. Ethyl means two. This group is ethyl oxonium ion. This is the first step. Now, the protonation is completed. Now, formation of the carbocation. From the protonated alcohol, we want to prepare the or we want to convert that into the carbocation. How it is possible? See here, in case of step 2, that is formation of the carbocation, the water molecule gets eliminated. The water molecule gets eliminated. So, as it consisting of the plus, it is oxygen does not carry the 3 valency. It can carry the bivalent it is 2 valency. So, in order to get stabilized water is eliminated and it forms the carbocation. And this step is reversible and it is the slowest step. The slowest step is the rate determining step. RDS is nothing but a rate determining step. So, what is formed CH3 CH2 plus CH3 CH2 plus that is the carbocation is generated okay, and water is eliminated. Now, the third step is that elimination of the proton from the carbocation, from the carbocation to give us a product like alkene, which alkene it is particularly that alkene is nothing but ethene to give a product ethene. See here, this is the carbocation. Here, one of the proton, this elimination, this will going to be, it can donate its electron, it can eliminate as H plus. So, it will do going to donate its electron towards this bond. So, there is a formation of the alkene and there is a release of the H plus. Clear? I, I hope it is clear. It is very simple. It involves the three steps and we are discussing about the dehydration of the alcohol. Dehydration is nothing but the water molecule must be removed with the help of the concentrated H2SO4 or H3PO4. Generally, uh, I have written like this only, there is a elimination of the water and there is a formation of the alkene will going to be formed. And uh, we have the three types of the alcohol, primary, secondary, tertiary. In those three, which is 
faster, readily undergoes a dehydration is nothing, but uh, always a tertiary alcohol readily undergoes a dehydration as compared with secondary as compared with uh, primary. Okay. So, why it is? Because the tertiary carbocation can uh, more stable as compared with secondary as compared with the primary. And then uh, this is how we are explained about the reactivity of primary, secondary, tertiary alcohol in order to undergo dehydration. And later on we discussed about the mechanism of the dehydration, very important here the ethanol is converted into ethane. Okay. First step is the protonation of the alcohol, that is which alcohol? Ethanol. So, it is protonated, this step is faster step and there is a formation of the protonated alcohol. Okay, second step, we have to generate the carbocation, that is the formation of the carbocation. So, water is eliminated, this is also a reversible step, which is the slowest step. It is called as a rate determining step. Here, generation of the carbocation takes place. Now, last step is elimination of the proton to give a product like alkane. So, here this proton is eliminated as H plus, so there is a formation of the alkene like ethene will going to be takes place. I hope so, it is clear for you and this is the reaction which involves the cleavage of the CO bond and further few more reactions are there, those we will continue in our next class. Thank you.